Good morning to the world. This is Happy Science Morning Prayer. To be strong, brave, stay positive, powerful, and constructive. Let's begin. Lord El Cantare, Master Ryuho Okawa, thank you very much for giving us another day with new life, for our spiritual growth and creating utopia on earth. With our sincere gratitude, let us recite the true words spoken by Buddha, prayer to the Lord and prayer to guardian and guiding spirits. The true words spoken by Buddha, Ryuho Okawa. There used to be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy. And Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven. Through the prism of Buddha, there appeared the seven colors of rainbow arching over in the sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is the color of teaching. White is the color of saving. Red is the color of justice. Purple is the color of obedience. Blue is the color of thinking. Green is the color of harmony. Silver is the color of progress. These seven colors help each other, and there appears Buddha land. Buddha land is shining brightly because of gathering of bodhisattvas. This is the land of love, or the land of mercy. This is the land of wisdom, or the land of teaching. Especially, this is the land of souls, rest in peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. The spirits are immortal powers. The spirits are immortal forces. The spirits are real entities. The physical bodies are the shadows of the spirits. It means you are the boat sailing down the great river. The great river is the symbol of the course of lives. Each of you sails down as a small boat, so you need a boatman. If it were not for your own boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock, and you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is the meaning of the true words. When you go down a rapid stream, you need to punt in a stream. Then you can change your course. The true words means the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened and spoke the true words and Buddha's teaching became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Buddha's truth. It brightens up your days, or to put it another way, the fruits of Buddha's mercy. All of you, now, here, listen to me. Never lose your way, now and forever. The guiding hand has already waved. Please follow this white hand and go straightly on and on. Your lives are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects. 
the past, the present, the future. Your pasts have already gone by, yet still your mistakes will be kept in your minds. That is the reason why you should understand other people and you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of the Da and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other. Let us bring up each other. And it's time to forgive each other. This is the eternal law which penetrates the present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night. The dark night of this world is hell. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sun of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching. It will shed light to the future to invite sad people to Buddha land. Now, here, I command, there shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distrust in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirit in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world, utopia, shall be realized. All of the people love each other, live harmoniously, believe in one another. That world is utopia. All of us could be the light of bodhisattvas. Believe in that the light has reality. Believe in that love has reality. Believe in that the truth has reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of bodhisattvas, get together, work together to keep right mind and live in tune with Buddha's words. Here, we vow to do so. Prayer to the Lord. Our Lord El Cantare, you are the source of all light, all power, all wisdom, and all love. May you give us light, give us power, give us wisdom, and give us love. O oh Lord, our Father, please protect this planet of love, Earth. Protect us from all evil and open a future for us. O oh Lord, thank you for giving us light. We give thanks from the bottom of our hearts. Prayer to Guardian and Guiding Spirits. My guardian and guiding spirits, deep inside of me, you are the fountain of life, the light of hope, the source of wisdom, and the shield of courage. Every day, may you help me develop my soul and refine my mind. Every day, may you give me inspiration and show me the right path to follow. Please protect me from all evil, and guide me in living a better life. For this I give my thanks. Now we will have some time to dedicate our deepest gratitude to the Lord.
Now it's time to learn some teachings from Master Ryuho Okawa. I'd like to share with you this very special kyoten, which means holy scripture, from Master Okawa. As you can see here, it's called Twice Born, my early thoughts that revealed my true mission. Today I'd like to read from chapter 2, which is called The Spirit of Being Independent, from the section 5 called Keeping Promises. I was really, really moved by this teaching, so I hope you like it as well. The fact that humans have been blessed with life on earth means we bear responsibility in the face of God. The very fact that we have been given life by God comes with responsibility. So what exactly is the responsibility we have taken on? It is our promise to live our lives as the children of God and with the will of God as our own. Such a promise has been made. It is not possible for us to be reborn on earth without having made this promise to God. Although there are differences in degree, we all have made a promise before being reborn on earth that we would be of service to God and abide by His teachings. The true meaning of the spirit of independence is to fulfill your promise to God as you live your life based on your individual character. Here are the questions I want each of you to ask your heart. What kind of promise did I make to God? How did I make this vow? When you think about this, please also consider what it means for you to keep that promise and to carry it out. Then you will realize that this was a promise to use your strengths to the fullest to benefit the people of the world while simultaneously preventing your weaknesses from affecting others negatively or hindering others' work. The promise one has made to God differs depending on each individual, but it is extremely important to always remember the fact that you have made a promise to God. Well, I love these words from Master Okawa so much because it reminds me that each one of us are special. You are special and you have your own individual strengths that you were determined to use to help others during this lifetime. So I hope that you also can receive this very special kyoten from Master Ryuho Okawa called Twice Born and experience a rebirth yourself. That's all for me today. So this concludes Happy Science Morning Prayer. Be strong and brave. Stay positive, powerful, and constructive. Have a nice day.